We need to do the clap. No, we're in. We're, we know how to do it now. It does the auto synchronization. Oh, we haven't done the clap in like 30 episodes. We'll keep this in. Welcome we'll keep back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Charles Ogan experience. <laughs> Thought you were going to fucking. Get gone. Gone. Oh, cunt. <laughs> fucking cunt. Tie massage. Yeah. Fuck that yeah. was so good. <laughs> good to see you. Thanks, guys. What's going on? Uh, nothing really. I had a rest morning. Because I hadn't had a rest day in a while, so I took a morning off. It was sick. Pathetic. I just didn't really do anything. Felt tired? You, you woke up, had a coffee? Uh, had eventually, coffee. I had a coffee. I had an iced Americano just now sick. as well as a second coffee. And yeah, it was refreshing, but average flavored, mm. I would say. You've been training well? You got some matches yeah. coming up? Yeah, yeah. Got oh, Floris, uh, yeah, Floris squads and... Uh, Another Polaris event, which I'm not, which hasn't been released yet, but that'll be good. That'll be abroad. Uh, oh, yeah. that one is yeah. that Polaris? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey. Partly. Yeah. Shh, yeah, shh, 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 shh. But let's talk about the the Grand Prix, the Grand yeah, Prix. Grand Prix. Grand yeah, Prix. Looks Grand Prix at spell. Thirty k. What can I say? That's huge. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So we got Jim Carlo. We've Isaac got Mitchell. Isaac Mitchell. We have got um, Livesey. 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 Yeah. We got. I don't know if that was released yet. Well, anyway. Oh shit. Yeah. This will be released later. We have got one other big fella, and we got. Uh, Robert. Uh, yeah. We got. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few fellas yeah. in there, it's and it's going to be a challenging tournament. That's exciting. Well, yeah. Eight man tournament, thirty k prize money. Yeah. How long are the rounds? Can we talk about that? We can't talk about that. I don't know, probably 10 minutes, I imagine. I don't actually know myself, so I can speculate all I want. That's exciting. As long as I don't know. So we got till September. Yeah. Bang. What's the training going to look like in the lead up to that? Well, I'm going to pick out the big fellas for training with, I guess. Yeah. That's the main thing, because it's open weight GP. Obviously so me. it's got to be... Obviously me. Yeah, big, yeah. In, yeah. Big fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so... Just get Mark yeah. McQueen to come down. Shout out Mark McQueen. True that, shout out. Fuck Mark, Mark McQueen. Mark McQueen. Shout out to you. It's just shit. Yeah. We should make our own. Shout out Mark McQueen. Yeah, that's true. That would be great. Sh- shout out Mark McQueen. That would be... Outsell the fuck Not Mark as funny McQueen. now that he's done these though. No, no. Yeah, what a shame. All right then. Uh, So yeah. Tournament's coming up. It's only three matches and it's tw- a 30 <clears throat> grand. So I think it's worth anyone doing that. Yeah. Yeah, what if you just get lucky and everyone gets sick? <laughs> <laughs> COVID. Yeah. yeah Fuck, COVID. sorry, man. Yeah, yeah. COVID. Yeah, or if they do compete, even though they're super ill and they just, you know. Give everyone stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Anyway, it's an exciting tournament coming up. You're going to train yeah. hard for that. We're going to add some cardio back in. We actually sick. need to do that. Um, I have time today. Oh, great. You can do it today. Great. Let's do it do after it. this. Yeah. Fantastic. Fellas, we're coming at 3 p.m. Taylor, Harry. You nice. can just do your cardio while they're training away. What a time. Borrow some shoes, right? Yeah. 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 vina has got his shoes. Got the red shoes upstairs. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You still got the upstairs. Oh, yeah. If you hadn't noticed. This is the gem. Yeah. Should we give the video to her? Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Pick up the tripod from really far away. Yeah. Not very, uh, not very good for the listeners on uh, Spotify. Yeah, but. But if you're tuning in, then. Right now we're looking around the gym. There's looking me. Looking around the gym. Here he is. Hello. Hello. Nice high ceilings. That's it. Just a couple regular guys just in a gym. Yep. Bucket of rice for the rest. You wrists. could do it yourself. There it is. Yeah. Great new gym. It's a good spot. If you're in, uh, if you're in London, you need to get down here for a session. ASAP. You'd get much stronger. You get way you'd get fucking. So I, guarantee, much stronger. I guarantee. I guarantee, you guarantee you'll get way stronger than you currently are. That would be good. Yeah. Which leads me to my next topic. We're, we're kind of changing the way we do it, training a little bit. I need to be oh, yeah. li- need to run a bit tighter shit when they've got, got the higher ceilings now. There's more people in the room. Get, we get a bit carried away. We need yeah. to keep everything a bit tighter. So yeah. we learn about adding a bit of plyometric work, which is going to be great fun. Good way to warm up during the warm ups. Plyometric, yeah. get the nervous Enjoying system fired that. up. Um, and we haven't changed too much, to be fair. Then we've got a new machine. We've got some new machines. Seal row, we've got a belt squat machine. Haven't you haven't used that yet. Looking you forward pro- to that. You probably won't use the belt squat too much. Maybe if you had the sore lower back, but you squat pretty well, so we don't need to use that. But for All some right. of the other fellas, All right. it's a good machine. Um, so yeah, basically just getting the pliers and that's going to be good. 
We're about pliers and the Nordics. Yeah, we've got the Nordic curl machine. machine. They are great. Hamstring flexion, which is a great, must essential part of your training. Really enjoying strong hamstrings. You need them. You need classic. strong and flexible hamstrings if you want to do anything in jiu-jitsu, to be fair. Yeah. Good hip internal rotation as well. Start following a guy called David Gray, who's a... David re- Gray. Yeah, he's a rehab specialist from Ireland. Sounds interesting. He's pretty fucking interesting. Getting good despite hip... Despite the name. Despite... <laughs> <laughs> really gray yeah. personality. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's good. He's fucking good. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm uh, currently trying to improve my left hip internal rotation. It's pretty fucking tight from a lot of jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need coming in. So a lot of jiu-jitsu guys, yeah. yeah. They've got... Most jiu-jitsu guys have great external rotation, but not so good hip internal rotation. So I've been a bit slack on the social media front. We're going to post some videos about that coming up soon. What and happened? We add that into our... Too much work on the gym. Too much work Forgot on the gym. Forgot about your clients online. Yeah. No, no they've the been watchers. serviced. All the clients have been looked after. Service. But the, the I mean, the watchers. Oh, yeah, the fans. Yeah, the viewers. Yeah, they've been one, gone. One you got a bunch. At a time. Yeah, exactly. they got a bunch to scroll through, though. But I forget. You forget. You get forgotten about on social media. Anyway, we should get into the questions. We had time as Let's do it. What we got? Let's go. All right. It's all jiu jitsu questions, isn't it? Some of them. We'll most get. of them. All right. We'll start with. My gym isn't open to leg locks. What do I do? Just start leg locking everyone. Just, <laughs> just do it anyway. If, you know, if people try to stop you, you're already fighting. So, uh, what do you mean not open? Like they don't like them? Change gyms. Like if you do leg locks, they'll just kick you out. You're gonna have to leave if you want to compete in a no gi competition. You're gonna get fucked yeah. eventually. You there's, really, you're gonna get hurt. There's no more rule sets where leg locks aren't allowed. So, you just. May you're fucked. They may as well not do arm bars as well. <laughs> just like, it's just <laughs> no joint locks. That's a bit too much for me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to get injured, see, so. <laughs> yeah. That could be a legitimate, uh, you know, quarrel with doing leg locks that they don't want to get injured, but. You're just going to have to learn how to defend better. I think better. if you do them, you're less likely to get injured with some leg locks when some traveling guy comes over and he. Fucks you know, everyone up. Yeah. Exactly. There's not really that rapport between him. He doesn't look you in the eyes and then just breaks your leg. Yeah, he goes for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd be better off, you know, learning some leg locks. So probably change gym would be my answer to that. No, I agree. Good. Would you do a UFC Fight Pass invitational event? Yes, but I don't like traveling <laughs> to <laughs> really far away. So, you know, it'd have to be for money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not uh, free. Yeah, not for free. Yeah, obviously. obviously, obviously. Uh, after cooking people while sprawling half guard knee shield, is the goal achieving chest to chest or a smash? Chest to chest. Or a smash. Smash pass. Yeah, I think it's... Well, it's both, no? I mean, the answer to that is yes, even though I think it was a multiple choice question. Both. It's chest to chest or a smash, yeah. So, wow, he answered you, himself. You, Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get the smash pass, you're inevitably going to end up in chest to chest. Smashing their legs side to side, I think he's saying. Oh. But then that would, allev- that would allow you to get more of a pass and you'd yeah. end up with chest to chest. Yeah, one way or another, you're getting chest to chest or a smash. And then from there, it's just side control all about. Yes is the answer. Or the back. Yes is the answer to that question. Oh, I see the other options available. Yeah, get the back. Get the, get the yeah. Control. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. If people just make big mistakes, you can get straight to the back or whatever. So that would be another great option. But generally, chest to chest or a smash. Yes. Smash. US US sem- seminar anytime soon? Same answer. It's, it would have to be for money. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't do it, essentially. Yeah. Get any questions on... Uh, free, a free... What about a free seminar in the US? That would be sick. Just go over there. I think just for attention... Yeah, just for likes on Instagram, like Harry and Meghan Markle, worldwide privacy. Store. <laughs> <laughs> why, would, why won't people stop talking about us? <laughs> Great South Park episode. Yeah. All right. Do you teach the stupid Japanese names for moves specifically to beginners? Whoa, <laughs> that's the question. You're that's just a bit of a out. racist question. You're just reading it out. That's yeah. That was a racist question, man. Fuck. I don't think there's Do anything I? stupid about Japanese people <laughs> <laughs> or how they speak. Yeah. Or naming the moves stupid. Hmm. Naming the moves Japanese. I think... Do you, you call them cross ashy? I would say saddle. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them though, like double out or outside ashy, sorry. There's only one word for that. It's outside ashy. 
if I had another name, I'd probably call it that instead. And I'm not going to call I don't know the Tent Planet names. So you're going with Outside Ashy? I'm just going with Outside Ashy. But other than that, I don't think I would say like... Maybe some judo for us, I'd call the Japanese names, but I wouldn't necessarily say it to a beginner because they'd probably just look at you funny. Like, so, something about? wrong with you, yeah. What, why are you speaking? I don't... Uh, bruh, I don't speech understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what he's trying they're not, to say. They're probably not going to understand much, though. So you go, this is a, a hip throw. This is yeah. this variation of a hip throw. They'll still look at you and be like, I don't, I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, I but guess it's just, just call them with what you have them. I wouldn't even give it a name at the start. Just do this. Maybe do give it a name. It might help a lot, but <laughs> yeah, just do this until it's right, and then we can name it. I would say Kimura though. That's a Japanese name. Yeah, literally. Shout out, shout, shout out Kimura. Yeah, we should get him on good. the pod. <laughs> Is he still alive? That would be sick. <laughs> no, he's dead. Though. Yeah, probably dead. All right. <laughs> Uh, smash past the attempt <laughs> Stupid Japanese <laughs> Yeah Hold on. I guess people why, don't Why are they fucking stupid yeah. It's just, just a Japanese name for it Yeah true that Fuck yeah. He, he hates Japanese well, people Fuck I guess I guy. wouldn't just Randomly start speaking in Japanese To be fair Yeah but you just go with What the moves are called I go with what most people Call the move Yeah Yeah. And if it's an Uchimata Then so be it I'll have to speak in Japanese For a moment <laughs> if, if you don't mind By the way This is the guy that Asked about wanking Shout out that episode. Oh, I know this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need to know ASAP. He's so, so good. I guess he's currently teaching a beginner and he's, he wants he's to He's currently know. wanking. <laughs> Fucking and Japanese teaching a beginner. Names. Classic. Ah. Fight sports. Okay. Would you recommend 50-50 as a good base starting point for leg locks? Yes. That's what we started with, I'm pretty we, sure. We start with that. We started with 50-50 when we, when we were nothing. And I'm fucking good. Yeah, and now he's fucking sick at 50-50, just ripping legs off in the gym. It's a bit of a problem. No, I'm not. All right. Advice on how to, how to smash people and not feel bad about it when getting ready for comps. You just got to do it. I don't know why you'd feel bad about it anyway. Like, as long as you're not injuring or like hey, putting, yeah, putting people through physical suffering too much. It, like em- I think emotional suffering is good. Physical suffering can be like maybe a stretch, but I guess it depends on your training partners too. Like let's say if you're in a competition class, everyone there is expected to fucking compete. But let's say if you're doing like beginner and intermediate classes, like stock standard jujitsu classes, yeah. some people aren't gonna really appreciate getting fucking smashed. But when again, you say smashed, what does that mean? Like just putting the heat down on them, just cross facing someone. I don't know. Maybe just being like. Just going just really fast. Temp- you just got to match people's tempo, right? As well, yeah. you got to read the room. Don't yeah, I mean, fucking idiot. If you're just going, if you're injuring people by <laughs> kneeing them in the face, <laughs> there's something wrong with that, obviously. But if you're just crushing people and and tapping them over and over again, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's fine. They'll stop training. The if, if they have a problem with it, they'll stop training with you. Yeah. So it's up it's to like, them. Let's say you're doing tennis against who's a good tennis player, Roger Federer. There you go against Federer and he's just smashing the ball at your leg the whole time you better that's stop a dick that. move <laughs> but if he's just beating you 60 love every time see how I know mate you watch love. Wimbledon I fucking love Tenny. it's actually French tennis Tenny. is that what it's called yeah, no yeah, it's yeah. not bro <laughs> anyway yeah. tennis was invented if, in England yeah I know anyway. man like Henry VIII yeah he loved him that thing Dear anyway hunting. If Federer was just smashing the ball at your leg the whole time, that would be the equivalent of getting smashed in jiu-jitsu, which would probably be a dick move. But if he just beat you really hard with, uh, you know, technique and just beat you 60 love, that would be completely fine. That's what happens. You need to do that to people if, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're preparing. Yeah, you have, if if you not you, then... Who else? Who else? Exactly, yeah. How are they going to learn? You're doing How everyone else a disservice just yeah. by not smashing them. Yeah. I think. If you're too nice as well, people, some people get deluded as well. Like yeah, a, yeah. People and get very it fucks them because then they'll go to competition, think they're really good, and then there's they'll get fucked. Yeah, like, exposed, what what exposed. Happens? So next, yeah. Next question. I got some questions too. But you go. Did you? You go. You go. Fantastic. Uh, I'll go with one more question. Right, Favorite single leg X entries. Everyone seems to predict my shin on shin one. It's predicted. I think you could do more from shin on shin than just a single leg X entry, uh, but. I like to go from a De La Riva guard, if we can call it that anymore, uh, or an R guard, and then do an off balance <laughs> and then get your foot to the inside. That's a pretty good one. Also like, yeah, shin on shin, basically. Um, being good at both sides of it is pretty key to uh, you know, actually get single leg X a decent amount of time. What's the key, key detail about, say like, 
say if they're standing side on, like someone we know, and I'm trying to get shin on shin, and they keep standing side on, it, and I'm trying to get shin on shin, it's got a lot to do with me uh, dorsi flexing my foot and getting and holding, hugging behind the shin. How, and scooting on the inside of the knee. Scooting in, on the inside, not yeah. falling, scooting. Yeah, not falling, scooting. And do I go for looking for a wrist grip or trying to invert? Yeah, or? so you scoot your butt inside, then you look to stop them scooting back with, for example, a hook on their far leg or something like that, or tipping them forward. Yeah. So you have inside position for a second, and then you can grab their far wrist and try and put their hand on the floor as you spin in towards the other leg to your back, and then you can shoot your legs up and behind you. You're basically making try, trying to make their legs light by getting them ha hands to the floor. Yeah, and light. Like the correct leg light. You're trying to get the, the leg correct. that you're trying to go single leg X light. So you put the other hand on the floor and then their base will be spread wide. And I guess the leg will be lighter. To enter. Yeah, yeah. to enter the legs. Or So if I've got my shin on shin on the right leg, I'm going to try and get the left wrist. So yeah, and yeah. Then, and then I'm going to enter. I would scoot in first scoot and in then first. block them and then get the wrist. Yeah. In that order. Yeah. Scoot, block. Wrist, wrist and spin spin then needs to chest and kick him, kick him overhead yeah single leg x on the right side yeah if someone's turning away though too much i would probably uh, scoot behind them the other way instead okay you know oh so you, because you can't <clears throat> cut the corner on them well they're scooting to face away from you yeah so rather than chasing them you just go the other way then they've got a turn to face you and as they turn to face you, you go back the way you you were initially chasing right so, so then, rather than going anti-clockwise because they're scooting they're, they're facing away you start going clock uh yeah you're, you're, you start going you're, you're going you're going clock so this is clockwise you go anti-clockwise initially they're facing away yeah you, and, you start going clockwise and then they square up to you and then anti-clockwise back yeah. yeah but you've got to make sure that when you go back that you actually hook that leg or else they'll just do a big step and cut the angle again mm. other ones you can try if they're facing away is just wrestling up like do a half wrestle up and then when they push back down you can like pull the heel away or sit back to like shin on shin with better angle that's what I like to off do off balance get a yeah. little off balance wrestle up come back down off balance come back down off balance repeat the cycle you can also try and just go to De La Hiva shout out and uh try and get the back can't say that <laughs> can't shout him out sorry we, yeah get we'll get new t-shirts for him and yeah. uh yeah yeah uh go to Dela Hiva and take the back yeah. that would be a nice uh That'd option nice. this is good i didn't notice yeah so get the heat going it is just it's like a bit hot. restaurants <laughs> <laughs> you know restaurants yeah, yeah you've yeah. been to them right yeah yeah all right you want to do a question? Oh, I got a bunch of them from the old podcast we never answered. Recovery advice after feeling banged up after a tough shark tanking. I wouldn't know what that feels like. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that feels like. No idea. No idea. What did you do? What do I do? What did you do? Uh, I am going to make sure I have a big meal afterwards. Lots of carbs. Food. Lots of protein. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure two to three hours later, I have another big meal, lots of carbs, lots of protein. And then that evening, I'm just going to make sure I get a really good night's sleep. And that's literally it. It's all you can do. That's basically... Um, Let's that, talk a little bit about Tren. Tren Balone? Tren Balone. Yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you're struggling to recover... Tren. Day in, day out. Tren. Gordon Ryan. Sharp. Shout out. Shout out. Trambolone. They're fantastic. Yeah, you'll recover pretty quick. I mean, look, if, you, if you're if you an athlete and you've got to train again later on, you would follow the same process. You would have a big meal, and then an hour later, you would have another lighter meal with more carbohydrates, and then you would go and lift weights. Then you'd have a post-workout shake, and then you would go and train again in the evening. Okay, no. And then you'd have more food, and then you would go back to sleep. Sounds tough. Also, hydrating. You'd be hydrating the fuck out of yourself. Mm. I forgot about that. That's that's really the key yeah, to yeah. hydrating. I thought you were going to start with that. I should have done that. Should have done that. Fuck, if we fuck. can reverse that, I would say that. Hydration yeah. is fucking key. We can edit. Sloppily. We're not going to, but I've yeah. said it now. Yeah, it's it been if you listen, if you yeah. listen, If you made it this far, Just to the answer. The other way around. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, hydration is going to be key. That's yeah. how you're going to recover. Hydration, nutrition, you got to get on that. Could put your feet up for 15 minutes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> That'll do the trick usually. Yeah. Put your feet 100%. up. 100%. Have that. like a tea and maybe like a cigarette on 
your balcony and <laughs> <laughs> just rest. Jokes aside, like relaxing is fucking so big. So sick, man. It really is. No, honestly, relaxing. like we laugh about this, but like you going back and like chilling the fuck out for like an hour to two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. It's, say it, come on. Say it. Say it, come on. You yeah. just going back home and just fucking chilling out sleeping or just sitting like watching tv or just fucking relaxing is it, that's key yeah that is key but literally putting your feet up though doesn't that help as well putting your feet like high up it's, so you, it's gonna help relax you yeah yeah, yeah. Get, your legs circulate some blood through yeah Fuck, it's so good yeah anything you can relaxing. do to be relaxed yeah <laughs> anything 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 you can do all right biggest red flag about a gym um there's a lot People sending messages to all the female customers is probably uh, a, a red flag. I can't think of any one in particular. No. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be a red flag for me. If you were a male or a female? Both, I guess. Well, if, yeah, if you're, if, if, anyway, if you're a female, that would be, a, be an immediate. I don't think any females worse. listen to this podcast, but if they do, that would be an immediate red flag. Immediately. If they just no. keep messaging you and yeah. be like, mate. What else? There's loads of red flags. Culty behavior. Yeah. What are some examples of culty behavior? Culty behavior. Because you've got a you've got a nice gym atmosphere, but then what's what's the cro- what's the cross line between? Hey, this is a really nice atmosphere. Everyone gets along. To this is a fucking cult. I think the difference between a cult and a team will be the pyramid scheme vibes of a cult, with one grand leader at the top. Yep. Uh, uh sell, everyone selling uniforms. Yeah being no because you want to you want to sell obviously your own uniforms but like maybe forcing everyone who comes through the door to wear the same clothes mm. it's a bit much but cult wise yeah specifically it's probably got to do with the attitude of the people in the gym and leaving and coming and going a cult is for life i guess yeah true like if you're if you're at a gym and you and your mate goes Hey, why don't you come do some? Let's go train jujitsu together. Uh, come down to my gym, and your instant reaction is, "Oh, it's gonna be tough to tell the lads." <laughs> yeah, They're that's not. you're a cult. That's yeah. a bit culty. You're in a in cult. In my opinion, nothing wrong with that though. No, it's the perfect type of gym. <laughs> 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 it's the gym I aspire to have one day. If the, <laughs> a cult with loyal followers. If that's the immediate, but if that's the immediate reaction, then it's like, ah, oh, I don't think I can. I don't think my coach is gonna <laughs> like that. Like I don't a, think the coaches will like that. A, a, then it's like, mm, that's a red flag for me. Yeah. That's a red flag. Also, yeah. I mean, if you're You want to come to the man, open mat? <sighs> got to ask my coach. Yeah. That's a red flag. Let me ask my dad. Yeah. So. Red flag. That would be a red flag. And I guess if everyone's a massive meathead, then. Yeah. And you're not, then probably there's not going to be much technique going on. It's just going to be like a. Dog eat dog. Emon, people getting fucked up. Yeah. Think about the little guys, yeah. If you're a smaller guy, you need to... Or if there's just like the coach never rolls. Not that... Not that if you have an old coach and he never rolls with you, but if he just has never rolled and never rolled with anyone and he's just a mystical being, then probably he's a charlatan. Mm. See that a lot. Do you? Well, yeah, used to more than I do now, I guess. But yeah, I used to see a lot of coaches that would never ever roll wow. what, what are you doing what are you teaching do you have a roll no no, no. my knee is uh, yeah, my knees are hurting I can't roll mm. that was it anytime there'd just be a new injury okay ah oh, fuck we've already you, answered this thoughts you, you, on the Polaris tournament I fucked myself over there brought the phone out expecting to ask a question you fucking idiot and I'm just left dead in the water alright come on I'll, in, I'll, in I'll the, save that I'll in save a that, bottle I'll of water it. so you guys one for the American fans Say bottle of water. Bottle of water. Say it like an Australian. Water. The full bottle. the full term. Bottle of water. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, you and Sylvie spar every night. Basically, yeah. His shoulder, his he's got hurt. his nerve trapped at the moment, but he's we still sparred to be fair somehow. Yeah. Do you have a daily stretch routine? Uh, I do. And I've started doing a little bit more with this David Gray mobility kind of stuff for the feet uh, and the hips. I'm going to post some stuff about that. Need to do that. I say shit and I need to get it done. I still need to post that wrist straight. I need to post and edit the wrist and rice bucket one, which I will do. Um, 
I haven't been stretching as much recently. I'm already pretty flexible. I just need to every day. No, is I it? used to. I used to do it every day. Would you say it's necessary to do a heavy stretch every day? No, I don't think so. I think like you need to if you have like injuries or you have certain niggles or you have certain pieces that need to get moved every day. I think you should have like a daily routine of stuff that you just like general movement patterns that you follow through. Cars and that. Cars, cars are excellent. So like at the moment I'm doing lots of hip cars, feet cars, uh, feet movements. Um, that was scary. I, I used to do that was fucking terrifying. Was I, used to, terrifying. I used to do two big stretch sessions a week, which I think helped me, helped me a lot. To be to be fair, the thing with stretching is it's going to help some people. For some, for for other people, it just compresses them and makes them tighter because you're trying to force your body through something and you're just creating a lot of tension. Whereas mm. for some people, it works fantastically. So, like as an example, this David Gray fella is not too big on stretching. Whereas if you look at someone like. Um, what's his name range of range of strength lucas uh whatever his name is he's big on some like flexibility and, stre- and stretching so mm. there's many trains of thought about whether stretching is going to be great for you or not i like it if it feels good for you you should do more of it i feel fragile after stretching a lot of the time stretching is is intense yeah it, it's gonna it causes a little bit of damage to muscle fibers for sure yes i notice yeah do you, yeah. Do you so do you feel better or worse well, probably long run, I'll feel better. But in the coming, in the following days, it will be a bit touch and go. So you're probably better off with the cars kind of movements. Yeah, functional range. They love it. Not so much the funk, the FMR stuff, but like, like holding isometric stuff, but like moving your body through difficult ranges of motion. Yeah. Okay. Is, and like, yeah, but training and range mobility. Like as an example to improve your shoulder mobility like getting a band or a dumbbell and like working into that end range position and like yeah. building strength in that end range you could do that with like isometric holds with a dumbbell or like banded rotations like we just did earlier get a band pushing into that end range that can be super helpful sick. to strengthen that end range we literally have three minutes left it's really fun as well huh oh we have three minutes we fucking got three minutes Fuck. left we didn't I mention to everyone to like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> which we will now ask you to do guys like Kindly. and subscribe um we should have said this is gonna be a shorter podcast at the start. buy my new dvd yeah, yeah, yeah it's coming out soon it may have come out by the time you watch this <laughs> this will be out this week it's gonna this be Sunday. called sloppy seconds oh then there's the other bits but it's not as funny yeah so yeah, we'll yeah. Leave that. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 um we'll be that podcast Are you, you're away next week Are you here uh i'll be here Great, we'll get back on. Um, Great, we'll be more organised. We'll do a longer format po- podcast longer next week. Longer form, just longer form. Maybe we just talk quicker these days, though. You ever think about that? Compressing it down, <laughs> putting it <laughs> just speaking one point five speed. Yeah. On it. Well, and yeah, we just do it ourselves. And we just speak faster. Yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. make sure you like and subscribe. That's a good, good just, podcast. Just do a fat line before, and we'll speak really fast. Yeah, you love a bit of that. The yeah, nose yeah. beers. <laughs> yeah, nose Shout out Craig Jones. Shout out Craig Jones. He's fucking interview. funny. That was a I'm great a interview. Fan. Yeah. I like the, uh, I saw a clip of the Lex Friedman where he said, the only author who's written more books than he's read in reference to Gordon. <laughs> 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 I feel like they didn't appreciate that enough at the time. <laughs> he's good. He's the master of trolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to order those Keep Jiu Jitsu Gay shirts for us. That'll be a great photo. Yeah. The month is gone though. Missed the boat. Pride. Should have got the first pressing. Mm. Instead, we're on the fourth pressing. No one wants the fourth person. No, no. No. Keep it gay, though. Keep it gay. True. All right, fellas. Good to see you. Like and subscribe. Good to see you. We'll be back next week with a longer podcast. Great to see you back. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well done. Sick. See that? That's so good.